This is actress Brie Larson, and yes, she's pushing a Jeep. But when she started her demanding physical training for Captain Marvel, she couldn't even do a proper push-up, according to her trainer. Larson joins the Marvel Cinematic Universe as Carol Danvers in Captain Marvel. To prepare for this career-defining role, Larson had to get in shape. She trained with Jason Walsh. He runs Rise Movement and Rise Nation in Los Angeles. The man who's helped actors like Matt Damon, John Krasinski, Emily Blunt, and Alison Brie train for physically demanding roles. My goal for, for Brie was to get her resilient super strong so that she can actually, you know, do the stunts and walk away and not get, not get injured. So, how did Walsh get Larson in such good shape for this role? It wasn't easy. Larson trained with Walsh for about nine months before Captain Marvel started shooting. She started her career as an indie darling, gaining critical acclaim for movies like Short Term 12, and then eventually won an Oscar for her performance in Room. Playing a superhero is unlike anything she's done before. It was a highly physical role, obviously she's a superhero. So what you want to take into consideration is the day in, day out, physical aspects, the stunt work that's going to, you know, uh, take place. She wanted to do most of the stunts. Larson's Instagram videos of her workouts have gone viral, but getting to this point was a battle. So upper body strength is very, very important for Brie. Uh, she came in, she couldn't perform one push-up. So we had to start from the very, very beginning on this. People see the highlights and think that that's just something that we kind of just jumped into. This is something that takes time, you know? Like I had, you know, three cycles with her, you know, at three month periods where I was able to progress her each time. And it took, you know, nine months to get her to a point where she was doing chain push-ups and things like that. Walsh and Alyssa Shoji, another trainer, demonstrated how some of Larson's workouts progressed over time. One of the staples that we use here at Rise Movement is the hip thrust, and we do use it for a lot for warm-ups, and sometimes we'll use it like in Bree's case, we'll use it as a staple exercise where you get up to like 400 pounds on the hip thrust, but like anything, you need to start from the bare basics, learn the movement. Nice and slow on the tempos. None of this needs to be fast. The next progression we like to do is to get a bar across the waist here. And this is great because we can track our progress with the actual weight. In order to get to the point where she can start from the top and go to the bottom and do, a, do the uh, push-up correctly, we worked on progressions. I want the, five, the hands spread about five degrees out, and I want the elbows to come back about 45 degrees. Keep the hips up and engaged here. Once Larson could do perfect push-ups. One of the highlights we got to with Bree is she got strong enough over a certain amount of time that we could do chain push-ups, and this is about 50 pounds worth of chain. As she lowers all the way to the ground, it gets lighter. As she pushes up dynamically, it gets a little bit heavier. So what I would do is drape this over the weakest area, or the midpoint, over the hips, which makes her have to engage those hips even more. The core, right here. Now, go ahead. It gets lighter, it gets heavier on the way up. Then, you'd finish with a few more regular push-ups under fatigue condition. Walsh also encourages all sorts of recreational activities. He usually tailors workouts to the actor's role. For instance, he made sure Emily Blunt was able to handle wearing, and moving around in, a 70-pound exoskeleton in Edge of Tomorrow. He made sure Bradley Cooper was ready to carry around heavy gear while shooting in desert conditions for American Sniper. When he trained with Allison Brie prior to GLOW, he added exercises to a regimen that would prepare her for the show's wrestling scenes. Walsh's job wasn't to train Larson for the actual stunts and fights you see her do in the movie. His job was to prepare her so she could then train for that. All the little workouts she did would perfectly lend themselves for hand-to-hand -hand combat. I want the body to work as a unit. Everything that we're doing is, generally speaking, full body workouts. Multi-planar, multi-joint exercises. If you're able to learn how to connect the foot and the hip and the arms, you know, you're going to be able to throw a punch a lot better than you are 
if you're just sitting there doing like a bunch of bench press or bicep curls. Her fight training was a mix of Taekwondo, Judo, and boxing. Over time, Larson saw some surprising changes. It's, it's pretty funny actually, the costume designer was becoming very annoyed with us because as we were progressing, she was getting stronger, she was actually getting smaller because she was becoming denser and denser and denser. So they actually had to take this suit and keep taking it in. From the Avengers to the point when we started shooting Captain Marvel, she was probably half her size, but she was 10 times stronger than she was when she started. As we mentioned earlier, she was even able to push a Jeep by the end. She saw a video of me doing a stupid exercise where I was pulling my Jeep and of course she got it in her mind that she wanted to be able to push the Jeep. I told her if I see a certain level of progression and strength with her and I felt confident, then I was like, absolutely. She was hip thrusting 400 pounds, she was doing everything, surpassed everything that I had really anticipated. She was just hungry for it, she was loved the challenges. She insisted and I felt like it was a safe enough environment, we controlled the environment. And she pushed this 5,000 pound Jeep up, you know, a slight grade in the back alley of my uh, studio. You know, the most rewarding thing for me is to see somebody really start to adhere and absorb and appreciate what strength training can do for, for you. Being pain-free, being strong, um, doing things that you really just didn't think was possible for you. Uh, Brie was one of those. I think she's, she's a lifer.